Okay. So this this workshop is going to be a little bit, I mean, it's maybe one and a half hours to two hours. I'm going to take this. But no worry, I try to cover each and every things. And at the end of the sessions, we're going to create a practical from text prom to video or text prom to image. All those things we're going to work, guys. Okay. So the next thing. So first, today I discuss some of the agenda. So what are the topics I brought it for today workshops? prerequisist for generative AI because to start any of the concepts the prerequisist is required and then we little work on what is generative AI so we understood in depth of this and then difference between ML AI gen AI so what is machine learning what is AI and what is generative AI and the, when we do a practical, so what are the packages, what are the libraries, what are the software we use to create this practical? And we we do the code to generate images from text prompts because I'm a user, I am do a text prompt and how the images are created, the way DALI to create it. And we're going to create some of architectures like clip architectures and transformer. So today I'll give you in-depth of how many transformers we have and what are the transformers we're going to use to do this practical and the seventh point how generative ai used in this organizations and what are the job opening for 2024 to 2030 and who can learn this codes and previous workshops link and what next so two years back we have ai and after two years we have generative ai and what are the different branches at 2025, 26? What is the extensions of everything comes under data science? And then I'll give you a complete uh, differentiations between supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. So this, these are the topics we're going to cover. And to understand these things, you should have basic knowledge of machine learning, deep learning, neural network, then only these all the topics should be clear. So if uh, I do sub 6.30, 6 p.m. batch, we just completed like machine learning now. So no worries, you just listen to this. And for morning batch, 8.30 a.m. batch. So maybe you guys can, all we already network. So now you guys have understand each and every concepts today. So for new employee who don't know about data science i'll give you some of the links you can follow that and to understand this concepts you little expert on dl nlp neural network and ml part as well so this is all the agenda so let's continue and we start i i, I want to take your one and a half hour time to explain these concepts and then we have a discussions on this part okay team clear Sound good? I hope. Uh, okay, next one. Let's. So, because I hope uh, about me, you can catch me on LinkedIn. And we've been many time we talked about introduction. So, at this moment, we can skip because I worked in many banking, healthcare, finance, insurance, e-commerce service sector as well. So you can you can find me with my name on LinkedIn portal. You I update many more updates. Uh, in the generative AI in the world at this moment. So I'm also a researcher and I'm also working professionals and also working for many different projects in different different organizations with freelancing as well. So this is all the detailed explanations about me. And I've been working in Narish IT from last two and a half years and it's about to reach three years. That's all about me. Or you can find out more uh, insight about the project's works and the updations research part in my LinkedIn. You can catch me on LinkedIn with my name so you get all the informations. Thank you. Next one. So the first second point, prerequisite for generative AI. So when if you don't have any knowledge on machine learning, if you do not have any knowledge on deep learning, if you do not have any knowledge on neural network, so might be it's hard to understand these uh, the concepts. So you should have little expertise on architectures, neural networks. 
what are the main propagations, back propagations, activations, and uh, transformers. But anyway, I try to make these concepts as much as simplify so that everybody can understand and uh, for this workshop. So the next one. So to build generative AI projects, you must have only one programming is Python is good enough because Python is crucial as many Gen AI libraries and frameworks are built using Python. So one programming language is good enough to build Gen AI projects, AI projects, data science projects, and all those things. So we should have also know the mathematics like linear algebra, understand concepts like vectors, matrices, eigenvalues, eigenvector, and all those things. Yeah, Java also fine, but Java, these the packages is a little bit java.net also is fine guys java.net and azure so three things is required so <clears throat> the probability statistics a solid grasp of probability theory and statistics is necessary for working with probabilistic models like what are the probability of the images we use the probability functions in softmax activation functions and we evaluate the model performance as well so the machine learning, because this is the this is a I mean, building block for everything. So understand the mesh basics of machine learning include supervised and unsupervised learning, and familiar the common machine learning algorithms and their applications is required. So these are the prerequisites. Like if you go deep learning and neural network, we can ANN, CNN, RNN is must. Once you complete these three things, then step into Gen AI. So what I'm trying to say, once we complete, so let me change. Uh, so here, once you done ANN, CNN, RNN, then the next concept should be Gen AI. So this would be the advancement of this, but um, we talk about all those things later. So deep learning frameworks, familiar with deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch. So PyTorch, when you work with CUDA versions like GPU, so we're going to build the practical in GPU. So that's the reason the PyTorch should be the best framework to work with Gen AI projects. So the next one is <clears throat> generative models. So understand the concepts of generative models and their applications. So in today's sessions, we're going to use two architectures or two generative model like GANs, which is Generative Adversarial Networks and VAE, Variational Auto Encoders. So we use two models to work with one projects. And computer vision is very important if you focus on image generations or manipulations. So basic understanding of computer vision concepts can be beneficial. And NLP, Natural Language Processing, the text generations, the task, knowledge of NLP concepts must need to be learned. So these, you must has to be knowledge on, these are the prerequisite for, uh, to build the Gen AI models. So team, the one who joined right now, so what exactly things we covered? So we just, we just introduce, we discuss the agenda for one and a half hours or two hours workshops, and we discuss the introductions and next prerequisite for generative AI. So what the things required before we build this or uh, learn Gen AI or model building, all those things. So these are definitely, these are the foundations you must need to learn. Then only you build this model. Next one. So here, team, everyone can hear my voice. It's crystal clear, no echo, nothing else. And you can see my screen also fine. Just give me a yes, a friendly yes. Okay, cool. Okay, thank you. Okay, so generative artificial intelligence. What is generative AI? So these points we discuss and then we go to the practical. These points we discuss and then we go to the practical. So what is generative AI? So I'll give you a simple example. So if I give a pen and marker to a fourth class kid and I will tell you to, I'll show a cat and I will tell him to draw the cat. So how do you think he will draw the cat? So even though he's not perfect, but still he draw the cat, guys. So that means, so in generative artificial intelligence, we talk about these points. What is Gen AI? 
why it is very popular nowadays or next year as well how gen ai work what is generative ai models what are dali chat gpt and bird what are the use cases of gen ai by industry what are the benefits of generative ai what does it take to build these models so once we complete then we go back and work on a practical so first thing let's continue so generative artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence capable of generating text image or other media using generative models so these are the models which helps to create text images like chat gpt you i'm a user mentor a text the model also decode the text so user generating text images and other media using generative models so generative ai models learn the patterns and structure of the input training data and it generate new data that has same characteristics so in 2020 advances transformer based deep neural network enable number of gen ai systems by accepting nlp prompts as input so that means in chart gpt we enter text and that text encode by some of the transformer using nlp the kk prompts and then decode the output so these includes large language model like chart bots such as chart gpt copilot bard and llama and text to image artificial intelligence art systems such as stable diffusion mid journey and dali 2 so this is all the new things which i mean so at this at this at this moment these are the speaks a lot and this is what the upcoming market is all about and today also i wanted to introduce so how the companies organizations wanted to build their own chart gpt which would help the customers client vendor to solve the many problems to solve the many problem so this is all those things we're going to do so the next one <clears throat> So generative AI uses across a wide range of industry include art, writing, script writing, software development, product design, healthcare, finance, gaming, marketing, and fashion. So investment in Gen AI during early 2020 with large company, Microsoft, Google, as well, numerous. So that means most of the company, they, they try to work POC, R&D in generative AI, guys. So now, 2020 to 2023 there is a opening for ai but now 2024 to 2026 please apply the projects on generative ai llm and prompt engineering as well so why generative is very popular nowadays so this is just the introductions what is it i'll i'll share you the slides okay so you can deep dive on it so we try to little elaborate on each and every slides and then we get back to the work so Jenai has seen significant advancement in recent time you probably heard about chart gpt one of the major players in the field and fastest ai product to obtain in five days it reached 100 million users just in a five days so several other dominant and emerging ai tools that have people talk in daily to bird jasper and many more things so major tech companies are in a race against startups to harness the power of ai applications whether you rewrite the rule of search researching significant market or innovating with other areas so that means so chat gpt is applications of llm and these are we called as a generative ai so this is all boom in upcoming days so this is very popular now it could be popular in future as well next one so i just let's discuss how gen ai works so just like painter might create a new paint so let's say a painter create a new paint or musician might write a new song so generative ai creates new things based on a pattern it has learned i hope you understand this statement so what exactly i'm saying when a painter paints a new paint and musicians write a new song so genai creates a new things based on the patterns which is had learned so for example i told you just now you might learn to draw a cat so you might start looking at a lot of picture of cats 
let's say I wanted to draw a cat. So to draw the cat, my brain has to be trained with multiple cats images. And based on that, we draw the cat image. So the moment when you keep drawing the cat image, so one day the image is very much uh, understandable and it's very neat and clean. So over time, you start to understand what makes cat a cat, the shape of the body, the pointy ears, the whiskers and so on. Then when you ask to draw a cat from memory, you can use the patterns that you have learned, create a new pictures of the cat. So it won't be perfect copy of any one cat you have been seen, but a new creations based on general idea of cat. So that's what exactly generative AI works similarly. For example, I give you a task to draw the image of dog, or maybe I tell you to draw the images like what happened to draw the images like stars or maybe which on the sky. So you see many examples and you draw the images and the, the day pass on. Now your drawing part would be more accurate. So that's what it won't be a perfect, but that when the days goes on, the creations will be more improved. So exactly generative AI works similarly. So now I'll give you a little bit uh, this one. So you can say the, I can talk about this one. Open AI, and let's click this. And we talk about research part. Or you have like, so this is Dali too. So if you see the prompt, so look at the text prompt. So the text prompt, pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. So this is the text prompt. So the text, the sidewalks bustling with the pedestrian enjoying the nightlife. So the moment when a user entered the text prompt, so artificial and generative generate this images. So this is called text prompt to image and a bustling city street under the shine of full moon. So you have a full moon. So that means a AI is draw this image based on the test entered by the user enter by the text. That means this is encode, this is decode. So we create sometimes such type of images. For example, if you see this text prompt, like an expressive oil painting of the basketball player dunking and depticated as an explosions of, so this is what exactly the text to image. So now we're going to create this type of practical today with the help of some of Python functions and some of transformer and GANs. So before I go back, let's, we covered this one and then we work with this. So exactly, it won't be perfect copy. So it start by learning a lot of examples. This could be images, text, music, any other data and generative AI create the new images based on learned the patterns. So this is the way the Gen AI work, okay? So this is, let me little talk about more uh, in depth now. So Gen AI works with two key features. The first one is GANs and VAE. So generative adversarial network and various auto encoder. So I this is all an in-depth session. So I will cover it in the classes, but right now I give a little overview of the GANs. So the GAN are a class of machine learning models. GANs are widely used for generate tasks such as image synthesis, style transfer, and data augmentations. The key idea behind GANs is to have two neural networks. So in the GANs, we you always need to understand a few concepts like generator, discriminator, and adversarial training and training process. So we have the generator, the generator, takes random noise as input and generate samples that ideally resemble the data in the training set. So you, I hope everybody know that when you build a model, we need to train the data and then model generate it, isn't it? So the same way, the generator, so here the how this is the way GANs work. So you have like, we have two neural networks in GANs. The one is generator. It, it take random noises input and generate samples that ideally resemble the data in the training set. It tries to create a realistic data, guys. And what is discriminator? So 
so for example i'll show you some of the architectures here so if you notice this so this is what i mean the vq gan so we have it take the random points of the data and using help of gans encoder and generator and uh, you have discriminator and this is discriminator so this part is comes up discriminator it will give you the image is real or fake and this is what your generator we take the data from this websites or many more entities as well and finally encoder transformer decoder it convert uh, the real image and the fake image and this discriminator would be finalized all right so i'll talk more about this now so let's come let's talk about this so from current slides so the discriminator is a separate neural network that evaluates whether given input is real from the training data or fake so real or fake just now i give it acts as a binary classifier binary classifier i mean real image or fake image this is binary because if i say real image is one and fake image is zero so all those things comes up here guys so training process during once you train with lot of noise points during training the generator improves its ability to generate realistic data by receiving feedback from the discriminator so this is what the architectures you no need to we already have a gans architectures which is vq gan i will tell you how to install these architectures um right now and you can also do that way so the next one so how many encoders we have and what are auto encoders so gans we have we have two part generator discriminator two part and generator takes the data with lot of noise and then it discriminate the data give you whether the image is real or whether the image is fake an auto encoder is a type of ann used for unsupervised learning it is designed to encode the input data in lower dimension representations and then decode its back of the original data so the generator takes the data in lower dimensions and give you the output decode with the original data so encoder means the basic structure encoder auto encoder consists of two components the encoder maps the input data into lower dimensions it refer to encoding or latent space so this process involves reducing the dimensions input data capturing its essential features definitely when we talk about images if we convert image to array you always get multi dimensions for 3d channels rgb so the decoder the decoder takes the encoded representations and reconstruct the original input data from it so the decoder's goal is to generate an output of closely matches input so that means when you train a cat so the decode the cat similarity of the images so these are the encoders and i'll the auto encoders we have many layers i hope you know about this in ann architectures we have input layer hidden layer and output layer and we do have a loss functions do you remember when you optimize so that's what i said to understand all the optimizations mean squared error binary cross entropy category cross entropy you must need to understand the previous architectures of neural network to got this a auto encoders part so the next one how many type of auto encoders we have the first one is vanilla auto encoder the basic form of an auto encoder consists of encode decoder teams to learn compressed representations of the input data so we have vanilla auto encoder and second one is variational auto encoder vae so we going to use this encoder to use the practical for example so introduce a probabilistic approach to encode data generate latent space with a meaningful structure it is often used to generate new data points so this is what we're going to use two encoders and sparse auto encoder so enforces sparsity in the learned representations with small number of neurons in hidden layers to activate any given input and then we have another one denoising because several types of encoders denoising contractive 
stacked auto encoder, convolutions auto encoder, recurrent auto encoder, adversarial auto encoder, and conditional variational auto encoder. So these are on auto encoder you choose based on your business use case. So right now, the projects which we are doing today, and for that, we use VAE plus GANs plus CLIP architectures. I'll explain what exactly CLIP. We are going to understand these architectures. We are going to understand these architectures. We have several type of autoencoders we have. So the next one, generative AI model. So to for the generative AI tools, many people common use today, and there are two main models. The first one is text-based and multi-model. When what is meant by multi-model? So when I build two or more architectures together, that's called multi-model. So a generative AI text model is a type of AI model that is capable of generating new text based on data as is trained on. So when we chart GPT, when we type, when we encode any text, the model understand and it understand the patterns and it search many of these repositories where the data trains and decode the output. So these models learn pattern structured from large amounts of text data and then generate new original text that follows these learned patterns. So multi-model, so multi-model is a tool to you that the name itself is a type of model that can handle, generate multiple types of data such as text, image, audio, and all it refers together. So one use multi-model is generating text descriptions for image. We can use also called as image captioning and generate from text descriptions and all those things. Okay, so these are the models we have. And I hope everyone know what exactly, what are the DALI chart GPT? Three of the most common and most used and most powerful generative AI tools available in the world right now at present. So ChartGPT is it's a language model, which is a text language model, so which is LLM model, large language model. So uh, we know NLP, natural language processing, to, to NLU, NLG, tokens, probabilities, and cosine similarity, and skip gram, CBAO. We learned all of things. So it is based on the generative pre-trained transformer. So right now, one of the most advanced transformer available today. So ChartGPT designed to engage in uh, interactions with users, providing human-like responses to various prompts. So we have a few prompts like GPT-3, it is a free version, and GPT-3.5, 5, and 4, it is a paid version. So ChartGPT was originally accessible via APIs, but now you can use it in web browser or mobile app as well. So that's the advancement of the upgrading of the GPT-3, 3.5, and 4. So the DALI just now, ChartGPT is text-to-text. -text. That means we use enter text and we get output as text. But DALI to user enter text, but output is image. So that's the DALI and BIRD, is a Google's entry into the AI chatbot market. So Google was an early pioneer in AI language. So, so Bird built on Google's most advanced LLM, PALM2, ARM2, which allows to quick generate multi-model content, including real-time images. So many researchers, many data scientists, many newcomers, and many professionals or scientists, they try to explore these new upcoming tools in the market. For everything, we must need to know the basic fundamental of all I taught you before, deep learning, neural network, and all the part. So the very popular generative AI tools, text generation tool is Jasper, Writer, and Lex. So if you're working in any organization, so if you want to generate any text, so I want you to a little bit explore on these websites jasper writer and lex image generation tool mid journey stable diffusion and dali so these are the generative ai tool for image generations for music generations emperor and data bots and musenet and for code generations codex github copilot and tabney and voice descript listener and podcast.ai so still these are the sample of 
these are the websites which already created uh like so what's language using for generative python arish python okay so so that's what so these are the websites which you can refer to for generating but in build the written the code in transformer so the next one what we do what are the use cases where exactly the gen ai is implemented and after that we work some of the practical and then okay so the first point so i just need your 10 minutes of time and then we go back to the practical today so the use cases of generative ai by industry wise so different different industry do r and d which is called poc in gen ai so implementing chatbots we already developed before but now to enhancing they use chat gpt before chatbot also there chat gpt also there but most of them addicted chat gpt now deploying deep fakes for mimic people or even specific individuals deep fake we also implement genia here improving dubbing for movies and educational content in different languages so what exactly i'm saying i wanted to show you one of the video so might be you cannot uh, see you heard the music but still i wanted to show the mute i mean how exactly it happened so if you see this guys so i can so this is motion brush so run by runway academy so very simple you can you can just track see the objects are moving so if you maybe you cannot heard the music but i can hear it can you hear the music so this is all the academy you just you just click any objects and it's you re release it it's play a video so these kind of things would help you on on terms of movie making and where people are more uh you know research part into the industries as well so many projects come into the so I will share the link. You can watch this video later. You can change the parameters and look at this. I hope, yep. Okay. I hope some of them, you can hear the voice. Great. This is a text prompt. And from the text prompt to look at the output, it gives the clarity of the videos and the many new techniques, new generated, everything's done by these AI. So so this is many videos I will I'll post you later for this one. So I hope I understand. So this is what the I mean, this is what real time, what we're going to do, the how Gen AI implement in the world so so creative improving product demonstrations videos suggestions new drug compounds to test and optimize new chip designs writing music in specific style or tone it this then i would help to most of the media industry film industry and there's many more things so these are the some of the use cases which we discuss and now what are the benefits of gen ai uh, benefits like automating the manual process of writing content. So by use of the chat GPT, many researchers, they, uh, the content making is very easy nowadays and reduce the effort of responding to emails because to get a new idea earlier time, we need to spend many research, many books, many websites, and we get some of the information from one websites, other websites, and we club together, it take more time. So the efforts is reduced with the help of generative AI. Improving responses to specific technical queries. So in organizations, when a developer try to find many things to get the concepts and those technical concepts, test part, test cases, everything also you can reduce by uh, use help of this Gen AI. Creating realistic representations of the people and summarize complex so just one moment. So you can summarize complex informations into is a very easy way. That means I could say simplify process to create content in a different styles. 
So these are the benefits which is given by generative AI. So today we discuss some of the theoretical part of generative AI and why we use this, what are the market now and so some of the Gen AI tools which is dominant in the world and using help of some architectures and do this. So when we build Gen AI model, so what we take, so first we take a data and in machine learning, we train the data. But here we don't train the data. We do pre-trained data. So I will tell you, so data, computation resources, generative models trained on large amount of data. For instance, text generating models might be trained on millions of books, articles, websites. The quality and diversity of the training data can greatly affect the performance of the model. Then we take computation resources. Like you build the model using GPUs would be the best source. So model architectures. So design the architecture of the model, the crucial steps. So we can have like recurrent neural network, convolutions, neural network, GANs, and the number of layers, the number of nodes in each layer. So the architecture is very important. And training algorithms. In the training algorithms, the model needs to be trained suitable algorithm in the case in generative AI. GANs would be a perfect uh, transformer. For example, this involves a process where two neural networks, one is generator neural network and other one is discriminator neural network. So building a Gen AI can be a complex and resource intensive process. Often you're requiring a skilled data scientist and engineers. So many tools available in the market right now. So I want everybody has to be explore these tool to stay ahead and compete with the world market and where you can step yourself into the uh, future trend, which is AI, Gen AI, and all those things. So AI, machine learning, see ML is, I mean, subset of AI, deep learning is subset of ML and Gen AI is subset of these, all those things, all right? And if you see Gen AI LLM models, generative AI, we have all the models, it comes under large language models. And if you see many people talk about different, different models like Gemini, like, I mean, Amazon, Brook, I mean, all those things. I'll show you the list of the informations which people are using for a research part and still many tools yet to come. So the next one, AI, AI is... We'll talk this later, AI, difference, all those things. And today we do one practical, so let's start. And I'm going to use the practical using Google Collab. And I'm combining two architectures here. This is the Google Collab we work. And we're going to combine the text model architectures, which is clip architectures, which it this architecture takes data text data from user and second one VQGAN that means uh, taming transformer architectures so this architectures would create it convert the text decode to image using help of VQGAN and auto encoders and we try to install some of the libraries as well PyTorch, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and some of the important libraries we're going to understand today. So the first thing, and finally, we can do this practical text image generations, text to image, text to video, and using help of, we entered some text and let's go back. So I'll escape it, let's minimize, and let's minimize as well. I'll take a, I'll take this uh, Word documents because I try to, uh, I try to take some of the, I mean, links from, uh, the architectures. Before that, I wanted to show you what exactly first thing. Let's go back and I can open this now. And let me try. Let's just go to Google and you can work with Google Collab. So how to work with Google Collab, everybody knows. And let's try to build on. I'll take a new notebook, which is just one second new notebook and we try to build um, so this would be uh, the 
the Google Colab we already opened. And before that, you need to set this to go to runtime and change runtime to GPU and save. And when you go back to GPU, so the first thing you can test, welcome to NIT and let's execute. Just one moment. So you can go back to here and we can, we can connect to, okay, it's done. So you check. So the first thing you need to connect to your drive, mount the drive. So you just mount the drive. Let's mount the drive. Okay, so team, no worries. If you little, uh, we can ha also have the YouTube recording. You can listen to it and I can share the documents, everyone. So you can work this practical as well. So this code is quite big. So I try to uh, possible as much as possible. We connect it to the drive and this is the drive locations we have. And so let's, this is Colab AI. So, so welcome to NIT and I'm little increase the font. So the first thing I wanted to check what is the memory space we have like NVIDIA and I can check SMI. So the moment when I check this, so what exactly happened, it will give you, okay, there's a no space, let's check. All right. So when you when you try to check this, I it will give you the information about graphic card for NVIDIA library for GPU and which versions we are using. So using CUDA versions 12.2 understand so which versions we are using team so we are using cuda versions cuda means gpu driver so the gpu i mean we can use 12.2 and if you notice this so this is gpu name and fan and memory uses if you notice this so so what exactly the memory given by you know disk so we have like 15 gb i mean uh 1 gb is equal to 1000 so 0 mib so which how many mb are uses 0 MB. My GPU gives 15 GB data to you where you can use the RAM and all those things. GPU processor and we don't run anything like that. So you can try this. You check your what exactly your system memory space available for the drivers and you can and this is driver CUDA versions and we can understand how much memory GPU has which is 15 GB and right now I didn't use any a size from here right so the next thing so this entire practical we're going to use in some basic python functions plus we try to combine with gan architecture i will clip architecture i will download the clip architectures plus and i'm going to download the vq gun which is taming transformer so I'll give you a little bit information of the taming transformer. So we work, uh, let me code code. Okay, so we try to use using Python function. So let's try to create a small functions. I hope everyone know, and we can talk define greet and I can, what is the functions case? Collections of statements and I can write welcome NIT. So now we define a functions and then we call the functions. These are the basic functions we we get this, we get. So if I call this functions three times, you can greet another time we call the functions two time, okay? And you can call the, uh, okay, call the function. So you get the three time statements. So this entire code, we write the functions def and the basic code we tried was, so I try to understand, let's create some functions like define process and NIT, I can say as name. And so we create the function when today, and I can say print, let's combine name. I'm using, um, is using Google Colab. So I can say, and when today. So now let's do this and i can process nit so let's come up okay so process nit and then who using i'm using kps so let's execute this now 
So I'm using, so I can change like my name, Akash Shainapath is using Google Collab today. So we try to create these functions and we club with the clip architectures and we club with the transformer. And we have many, uh, we try to build some of them and let's try to do understand. So guys, I also want to introduce, so let's, okay. So the first thing I want to follow this uh, word documents, which I created for the learners. So we're going to work with multi-model architectures called clip that is going to link text visual elements. And we're going to combine with gen models with the transformer so that we can take text prompt and generate visual prompt and even videos can make with sequences. The first thing, what is clip architectures? I want to clone the clip architectures. Let's copy. And I'm trying to open the GitHub for Clip. If you see, Clip full form means contrastive language image pre-trained. Movement, what is meant by train and pre-trained? So train, a user train 10 images or few text, but pre-trained, the, the architectures pre-trained with many, many, you know, text from books, from websites, from all those things. So Clip is a neural network trained on variety of images, text pairs. It can be instructed. It can be, just one second. It can be instructed in NLP to predict most relevant text snippet uh, without directly occupies. So it has zero shot capabilities. So we have zero shot uh, the concepts of GP2 and we found clip matches. So I'll, we, this is, uh, I'm sure if I explain all those things, you're not understand. So right now, so you can follow this clip GitHub APIs and we try to take some of the components from this API and we clone this. So this is inbuilt pre trained the code. So I wanted to clone here. So before clone, so I want to show you some of import pdb so pdb is it will act as a python debugger so you need to check so how do you do this so i'm going to copy this now and i need to check the debugging because debugging means it'll give you so i can use this as so check this pdb pdb and we have options dot set trace just wait, okay. And then we trace and today and then process an IP. Let's check this. So the moment when you PDB, it is asking, it is debugging mode. You know what is debugger? Because if you use PyCharm, you have a F8 to debug the code. So when today, and if you go to the chart GPT, so we have some applications uh, like uh, in PDB, we have some applications like N for next line. So I can go to chart GPT, just wait and let's open and wait for some time, guys. We'll, we'll do this. We try to better understand of PDB, which is debugging. Let's log in and, and continue with Google. I can see this now and let's connect to it continue just one moment okay so maybe it gave some issue so now here so here when you see this is what pdb so import pdb means it will give you some commands n for next line continue q for quit so you go to this google collab and the code is executions and for next line it is go to next line and what is the next line the first line is today and the next line is print when you say n it will give you the next line do you understand guys so look at this this the line number five six and continue so when you queue this is quit okay so this is for you can try this but if you if you don't want to debug you just execute the pdb set trace mode 
and you can get the output because Synapse is using Google Collab today. Okay, so in the code, what we're going to do, we are going to install the clip architectures. So how do I clone it? So I copy these architectures. So very simple, if I go back to this one. So I git clone, I can mention git clone. Let's copy and I go to the Google and then you check this. Um, just one moment. You can drive and I'll paste here clones. And the moment when I execute, let's have a look at this case. If you see the drive, and then drive, my drive, okay? So just close this. We can install this clip architectures, cloning the clip. And then the second one which I have is here. Let's go back to the Word documents. So what is a clip architectures by OpenAI from team? I hope you understood everyone. Yes, guys. Very good, Minakshi. Anyone else, team? Every so far good. What about others? What about others? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. So I do understood. So the one who never been into neural network might be it's a little bit tough, but don't worry. Uh, if you attend the sessions, things would be clear. So then I'm trying to close the taming transformer architectures. Let's copy this as well. And you can also find out this. Okay. Did you see? Look at the clip is already installed here. I mean, the moment when I clip architectures, which is this architecture we use to make a text and text one we can use for taming transformer. So this would be the clip. Okay, all the models we clone from here. Now let me install the taming transformer. So as I told you, we're going to build the multi models. And so we try to combine clip model, this one clip model. And uh, this is Taming transform architecture. So if I copy this and we go to here, just one moment, you can check this out. So this is this architecture we use for high resolution images synthesis. So so this is what VQGAN. So it takes the images and transformer and then it uh, generated discriminator. We talked about it classify into real or fake. And then we can have some of the, we have discussed encoders and oh, pixels and what are the pixel sizes and what is the sliding padding concepts in CNN part. You must need to know to make these things, guys. So here, so this is VQ gun we have and uh, gaming transfer for high resolution images. We cloned it, let's copy. And I mentioned git clone, very simple. And I installed just check this now and it should be refresh see this the two architecture is created so that means we can create it as this would be the clip and this would be gaming transformer so we created two architectures here so the next one just one second let's close and clear all the drawings let's close this so once you created the clip architectures we need to install some libraries. So what are the libraries we installed here? So we try to add, so two architectures we added. We first, we set up the GPU and then we install clip, then we install a uh, taming transformer. And this is what, and the next step is Google Collab download installations. I will give you some of the libraries, which is very important. Install two architectures, pip install, so I try to, I give a detailed of these libraries you have to install in your collab. So PyTorch is very important. So what I'm going to do, let's install some of the libraries here. And I can say pip install and we don't need no dependencies. FT, FY and I can regex. 
and then TQ DM, TQ DM, DM. So what exactly do guys? So here, if I go back to this one, this command install the specified packages installing without the dependency. That means when you do the practical, we don't need any dependencies for an executions. So that's why we can use the code no dependency. If you want to install the packages along with the dependency, then you can remove this no dependency. If you remove this, then required dependency as we're working with Google, so collab. So that's why that we don't want any dependencies. We need to install this. Let's install this as well. Okay and it is downloading and then next one also we try to pip install and wait i'll check some help options omega omega config equals to 2.0.0 so i think let's go back to the documents here omega 2.py dots lightning okay so we try to install this PyTorch and I can say check the spelling might be lightning I'll tell you why I'm 1.0. any versions has come up 8 okay so we have let's check this let's execute error invalid okay so I can pass 2 here and check this now omega config so why we got this pip install equal to 2.0.0 five dots check the spelling mistake here 1.0.8 i hope it's working yeah the spaces are there it's working so what exactly library install specific versions omega configurations of pi dots package using the pip command so these are the configurations we need to install. Do you remember guys, when we install the operating system in our OS, so we need to install some of the link which is given by the, you know, the OS windows. So the similar way, when we install these things, we try to install some of the, okay, libraries to do this practical. So this is quite a little bit more advanced. So I try to be, I'll share this and you can work as well. So the next one, just wait, let's close. And I try to create code, code, code. It's just one time. Yeah, you need to install only one time. No need to, yeah, but once you restart the collab, when you restart the collab, version, then you have to do it another time. So till the time you don't restart, you don't need to do this, okay? So the next one, so we install one library and other library is pip install and torch text so yes so let's go back to this libraries because i mentioned this document to help you this command uninstalls the torch existing if you have and eps flag automatically conforms just go back and you can execute this torch now yeah, we already done this and finally pip install let's what exactly this one is this command install the any pause library which is commonly used in machine learning deep learning workflow for reshaping and manipulating tensors once the install is complete you can import and use in your python script of jupyter on jupyter notebook so this is the very important libraries we installed and once you install all the libraries so what you're going to do let's install some of the basic things called import pill which is which is a pill image library for images so import numpy as np import matplotlib uh, dot pyplot as plt and import and as a pd and let's done all the what pill Okay, why? Okay, why guys we got no module pill? I think it's a capital P, just capital P. Let's check. Oh, okay. So I think it's capital pill. 
try this. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's what I done. Yeah, import pill. Let's say thank you. So it's a capital pill. We done this, right, guys? And then we need to import some of import torch and operating system and image input i'll take and pdb which i discuss and then we take a math so definitely we distance and then we need to check you can check the torch versions as well and import wait i try to check some torch version okay and transforms do i get just one moment Okay, transforms, and then I need to call as, as TM, as TM. Let's, those versions we called, and just one moment. I can, these are the inbuilt functionalities. Let's call this, and I transforms as T. let's try this so i already mentions in here so if you notice this import torch os so what exactly this one guys so torch means let me this is pytorch library for popular deep learning python it provides tensor computations and supports building and training neural networks torch os operating systems you know image io this library is used for reading and writing images in various formats it is commonly used in computer vision task and PDB. The PDB module is the Python debugger. It allows you to interactive debug your Python code, set breakpoints, inspect variables during program. And the math modules provides mathematical functions and constant. It includes functions like sine, cos, square. And then, and then I hope so. This is all inbuilt. Uh, what we import here. I already mentioned this one. And you can also do that. Okay, why I got this out better? Dot reason, I'm sorry. Do you... Okay. Dot reason. Now let's check this. Okay, fantastic. We got this now. So, because, so what I do, I just call another file, which is, we go to, markup language which i call yaml file so this is yaml library commonly used to working with yaml it's int markup language for files for python is a human readable data serializations format so you can install this one as well and we can we already created the configurations and import wait okay first one second one first one and then I'll talk from clip. We already installed the clip or not? So from clip architectures, we import clip model. And if I have some warning messages, I need to warnings dot, I can, oh, wait, wait, wait. Filter warning. So warnings dot filter warnings. I need to ignore some of the warning just wait oh, warnings is this warnings warnings okay okay fine okay so what exactly happened we try to install some of the libraries here so i do understand because if i write it's it's going to take more time because i try to we need to create some helper functions because uh, if you see this one, what is the next step? See, look at the practical, guys. So the practical in today's sessions, we already review of what is GANs and who can help and what exactly prerequisites required. And we talked about what is clip architectures. This is architectures used for text encoding. And then we combine with the transformer, which is VQ GANs. And here we clone the architectures uh, from Taming Transformer. And after that, we try to install, we use Google Colab and install the basic libraries. 
and PyTorch and some of the configurations and some of the operating system images. And we create helper functions for that. Now we create helper functions. So to create the helper function, so what you do, we need to write some of the functions. Just now we written some of the inbuilt functions, I mean, user-defined functions. Now let's create some helper functions. I know guys, because for beginners and some of the people might you not understand, but uh, please try to cope up what is helper functions. We try to, this functions, we try to create a functions to take the text from the user. Yes, Prashad. So that's what we create some of the functions. So that's why if I already given a detailed information, let's create some helper functions, which will be helpful for us that shown image from tensor. But again, what is a tensor? Tensor is a multi-dimensions array of numbers. It can have any number of dimensions like 0D, 1D, 2D, and then clone the tensors. We take the multiply data to 255 with a pixel range of 0 to 255. So what exactly tensors? So we, this is what the parameters we declare in the code. And this is all in-depth analysis of the tensors data.clip. And we have two operations like data clip and then, then we we take the noise factors. What is the noise factors? It refers to strengthen of intensity of noise that is being added to the images. So here, we try to create a helper functions, and after that, we we call the clip model. So define, and I can show from you can create any of the functions here, and so and we can pass the parameters as well. So let's call this. And then I can call image equals to, I need to clone because if you see this, oops, tensor dot clone. We clone this one and then from image equal to, so whatever the tensor images is into three dimensions. So I can say as image dot multiply to 255 and then we convert to byte we convert to byte here so what exactly happens so this one we try to create a functions and this functions uh take the image as a tensor and with multi dimensions array and we clone the tensions here tensors here and then we take the data multiply by 255 because the pixels range is from 0 to 255 so image equal to image dot CPU because so and you can call as a numpy and then we need to transpose. You know what is transpose functions? It converted rows to column and one comma two comma zero. So as we declare a multi dimensions, we need to create a two spaces. So what exactly we done? this functions why we create this functions because uh, we show an image from tensors and we convert the image to multi dimensions and every image is convert to 0 to 255 and then convert to array so see i mean transpose 1 to 0 okay so what exactly happens so rather than i just type each and every functions uh okay we have a big code so i'm sure that uh it's going to be a little heavy. It's take more time. So what I'm going to do, I'll create my another cloud. So let's go back to this cloud and we let's reconnect again. And once we reconnect again, so we try to, we already, uh, I have the, my right like that and I'll show you so you can understand what exactly output we get. Shall we guys like that? So here, what exactly happened? So the first thing, as we know, is it connected to the, yeah, it is connected. So we already, let's call clip architectures, which we done. And then we have taming transformer architectures we done. And then let's, we installed some of the library. Okay, more libraries as well. So each and every code, I give a split breakup of this one, okay? So what we do, so what installations and this library use for what? 
and i will share this one so definitely to understand this it required a little bit more time so just scroll down as i told you we install pill numpy pandas matplotlib these are the basic libraries you know and pytorch library so pytorch library is a deep learning library of frameworks you can see the torch versions from the torch versions just one second so once you have let's call the yaml file and i told you clip architectures this is for text and we try to help our functions because this is what we've been done and what we try to do so once we take the image this functions take 10 sorts this functions takes 10 sorts and how will your document will be shared uh, I will I will share to the admin uh, Vasil and the admin will share to you. Okay. So we try to, do you remember while we working on the gradient descent optimizations while we built an artificial neural network. So that's what you have to be know this. We define a learning rate. Do you remember what is learning rate? I know my students, they able to understand what's learning rate, what is batch size, what is WD, so the WD is with T. So if you see this here, this is all the WD implies the weighted decay term is added to the loss functions. How many loss functions we have team? So we have L1, L2 and uh, optimizes. Yeah, three loss functions, that's true. So that's what these all help functions because while we build the neural network, we try to, we declare the parameters, batch size, and then we take a iterations and shape of the image height weight and channel you can create some channels as well so this is what helper functions is created so yeah it helps to reach the global minimum that's right so when you when you check this helper functions look at the code i mean we not use any pre-trained library we just define a functions and we call the clip model so the next one so clip model this code will connect text to image guys this code will connect text to image so if you go to the documentations here it's clearly set up clip model it will convert text to image image text matching zero shot classifications etc so that's what so the moment when you pass underscore here <coughs> it return the clip dot load functions and then vit b32 jit so this part would help you to so the argument specify the specific variations of the clip model to load in this case vitb32 jit false mean just in time compilation should not be used so now and then eval functions after calling the clip eval the is set to evolution mode and if the mode contains dropout or batch normalizations this layer will evolutions mode so it will set up a clip model. We call the clip model. We create a helper functions, and we we what we done, guys? We we call the clip model to connect text to images using this code. Clear. So if you see this output, ResNet fifty, RN ResNet one zero one, RN fifteen to sixty, VITB thirty two. This is pre trained. As I told you, you no need to train any images because this clip architecture is trained by this is all the neural networks guys so if you know about kiras tensorflow kiras i explained to my many students about kiras api very good shivananjani we talked about apis so in the apis we have resnet alexnet and some of the students already done that for these libraries so this is inbuilt we get this next one so till this point so till this point what we done we set up a clip and we set up install some library the next one taming transformer architectures so the clip library so what exactly it will do it will download pre-trained model so we don't need to train clip and we can proceed to use in interface eval mode to encode text to image directly yes bgg 1619 true correct that's right so now taming transformer so what is training now clip is used for text and this is used for what guys this is used for vqgan so in the taming transformer so set up taming transformer so 
Siri. So do you remember we installed the Taming Transform here? And now to install this, I need to CD. CD Taming Transformer. So what exactly the CD does? So first thing, we need to enter the Taming Transfer architecture. So how do we enter? We need to create a make directory and you need to pass the models which you can imagine it. So this is the checkpoints. We need to set up some of the checkpoints. So that's why if you see this, this line change the working directory. So I hope in if you work on command prompt, you understood the taming, I mean, change directory and make directory in command. This is the path where the directory structures will be created inside. It includes nested directory and we configs. So when we config the VQGAN, okay, this architecture, this is also pre-trained. So this is the models would be the main directory. So when you, it will, it will go to the models and this model should be the main directory from various paths. And then if length, so this, what exactly this uh, checkpoints we have, we already installed the checkpoints. That means the code check whether the directory is fixed to the models directory or not. So that's what if equal to equal to zero, then please install the checkpoints. So in this checkpoints, I do give you a detailed breakup. My students already know what's meant by wget. You get the uh, this command used to download files from the internet, www.get. So this is HTTP. So this is URL from which file is downloaded and you can open this URLs. And you can also find out the specific output file name and path where download files will be saved. So once you do that, we try to, okay, we, we check the proper locations and let's install. So content framing transformer, it is connected this tran framing transformer to the directory which is main model is models here we installed this architectures over here clear so the next one so what exactly next one let's create so do you remember we create helper function to clip and we're going to create helper function for taming transformer we try to create the helper functions also to the Taming transformer. So what you do, let's clear all of them and then close this one. So we, this functions, this functions, look at this. Taming model, VQ GAN, VQ model. So this functions would help you, some help display all the detail of configurations, load the config path. If you want to display configurations because we set up a configurations here. And if you want to display the configurations, then it point the library and it dump to the Omega configuration. So here, if you check this. So now before proceed, so what we do here, let's have a setup taming transformations. We done this and we also figure out. So why we, um, what are the libraries for this one? And after running this command, you should have model.yml. Now proceed transformations. So when you when you use the load config load vqgan, so look at the functions we created three functions load config load vqgan, and the main important part is generator. So whenever I pass the image, GAN has two architectures: generative and discriminator. Generator and discriminator. So we generate basically. This functions would take the input and generate an image and we pass to the functions. Understand? And then, so this is what exactly we do. When you generate something new, it will return the trash decoder. So one second, you just wait. Sometimes you see some of the uh, things and you understood, just wait. I know if you see some of the models we joining uh, created like base learning rate, parameters these are the parameters we have and once we see very simple we call the taming transfer model we set helper functions and we make directory to the models because taming transform have many folders and we assign these architectures to the main folder and then we create some helper functions which connect to the text to the image and once we done that once we done that, so we declared the value to the parameter. Do you remember in clip also we optimize learning rate and the same things we done above. 
So here also, we're going to do the same things, which is declare the values we're going to optimize. So we try to declare the values. So when you when you see this same things, look at this very torch and then modules. And in it, I told you because in functions, we have special uh, functions, which is in it, the, what guys we called constructor, isn't it? So uh, super class, this is a, I mean, we have a class and object, super class, base class, subclass in inheritance concepts, which we used here. So I'm saying you convert. So when you talk about the class, so we create this one, create the class. In this code, we are going to create a class with parameter torch with modules, and we make this parameter a super class. So this module as a super class, and we are going to initialize the values of random values will produce a tensor of random values. So when you create that tensor of random values, do you remember what are the parameters optimizers we used in neural network? We use Adam, Adam X, Ada, Delta. So now we learned this, isn't it? So, but here you can use Adam W. So Adam W is very important. So this parameters you can use here and then you can check this out. So after that, so once, so very simple, we we call the two architectures here. We call the two architectures and we create helper functions for clip and we create helper functions for taming transformer. So once we done the two helper functions, so the one moment, next, check this and encode prompts and a few more things. So normalize. So when you try to normalize this, create a few functions to print the functions for using clip architectures to now we combine clip and vqgun two things so to combine you encode prompts to encode prompts normalize from the torch versions this is a transformations of the torch versions library that normalizes input image so when you pass input image this is what the values which based on uh, based on multiple parameters we trained we found these values so mean values these are the mean values the first tuple contains the mean values for each channel we have three channel red green blue for red green the mean value which is 0 0.48 and green mean value we consider and for uh, blue, we consider these mean values. So trust me, if you do not have neural networks, deep learning neural network, I'm surely I'm saying you're not able to understand at all. So that's what some of them can understand, but some of them not can understand. But let's see what exactly we're going to do at the end. So how we create, how these prompts are encoded and we combine text to image. So this is what encode text and this is create encoding include exclude extra so what exactly the include exclude create encoding so the moment when you do include exclude extra so that means we can we can mean value we done include means i want to enter blue tree for example I'm a user, enter any text prompt, for example, elephants or blue tree in the forest, forest green tree we have. So it will take include means take input data from the, as a text prompt, exclude. It should exclude green color of any users want. Extra, some extra color need to be applied for space to create generate images. So if I if I type all the code, it takes more time and I'm sure you're not going to be stay longer time. So that's what we didn't type here. So I already created and I show to you. So we created these functions to encode this one. Now, the next one, did you see guys, we create some images here. And this is, uh, I mean, what we say here, dot size 1, 256, 28, and 28. So image dimensions, we have 1, 3, 4, 48, 4, 48. So you can, so we just, with the minimum Python functionalities, you try to create a uh, image checkpoint, which is uh, output we find out, and the size of parameter is 1, 256, and all those things. So when I say no grad, means no gradient computations. So before generating an image, we are going to create crops. So to create the crops, 
So if you see this, what exactly the crops? I wanted to, so same, whatever the code explanations are given here, before generating an images, we are going to create crops of our images. We'll send the image when we encode the image from clip. That means this is what output create crops. Why we need crop? For example, when we encode the image with clip architectures, you just no need to send only single image because a user can pass multiple images, isn't it? So when a user crops of images, augmentations, rotations, trans, do you, anyone build data augmentations, guys, projects? Yes, students. We build data augmentations. We flip the image. We augmented the image. We translate the image. Yes. So those images we can build, we crops with the, some of the things we already done. So in the context of clip, we we write the clip. We create a, a codes for whatever the images we pass. We try to create the crops for those things. All right. And then so i will show you the next one what exactly we do we show some current state of generations and the next one just give me some time we'll try to see some of the output as well optimize the parameter before training so when you when you build when you're training the model first you optimize the model we need to use some of the optimizer as well to optimizer uh params prompt and then uh, we don't write a tensor here. We don't use TensorFlow. We build with PyTorch. So when you use TensorFlow, you can see TensorFlow.sequential layers we need to assign. So in this one, params, so we take these alpha value, including an image encoding, output parameters, and all those things, and we text encoding with, uh, and we calculate the loss functions as well. So once we calculate the loss functions with the optimizer, let's training the loop and this is the last part before we convert uh the image to sorry the text prompt to image let's do the training we have uh i hope you know the training of what exactly the parameters we pass uh for example params optimizers show crop and this would help you for the iteration so how many iterations the crops we're going to make and these are the loss functions we try to create for iteration is greater than 80 and let's do this so what happened? I wanted to make a text prompt. So this is what the text prompt. I say a blue tree in the forest. CUDA torch dot CUDA empty cache extract W1 noise vectors. This steps set this to C. So the moment when you when you execute, let's what exactly happened? I'm a user. I entered a text, and let's wait. Can we get some? Images here, a blue tree in the forest. Wait. Need to wait for some time. So total iteration is 110. So just wait for some time, guys. Still it is processing going on. So don't worry, for this practical, I'll give you all the documentations which I've made in detail for each and every, so which could be helpful for you to understand. Okay, argumented crop example. Did you see, guys, we, we, the codes, yeah. If you see a blue tree in the forest, did you see we try to create some images or not we try to create some argumented cropped examples so generations text to generations so this is what we getting here okay i hope you understood so what exactly i'm trying to say let's copy and i create a new prompt here and anybody say like guys anything else you wanted to talk about this which any text you want to say for example anyone any prompt any things like i wanted to say a kid 100 kid play in um in planet okay let's say would you be sharing this google drive after the workshop uh yes we will share i'll share you so the moment when you say look at this we created a text prompt 
to the MAs and we say like, uh, for example, we just wait. So just go back. I am saying hundred kid play in a. Do you think any kids play in the planet? No, it's not possible. But let's see, uh, how exactly the thoughts, um, these encoders would help us to create some of the. Actually, the code is very easy, guys. But as some of them are beginner, so as some of them, even though I can't time mean, nowadays, people don't have a patience. So that's why, uh, I know this video is going long. So that's why. Wait, so 100 kid play in planet. So look at this. A new kid, how we paint, how we draw this painting. So that's what it's going to do. And how exactly it called? Because I told you the, uh, we can have like the architectures, which is clip and uh, what did I say? Taming transform, VQ gun. We com combine both. Just wait. It take more time. CPU cannot run this. And you need to be GPU machines. And okay, look at this 100 kids. And yes, system, we need to run all of the programs in this course. Yes. So if you see, so you can say 100 kid. So look at this. The planet is looks like that. And the more iterations you train, so for example, here you can see that portal iterations 110. You can use more iterations, so the visible would be more good. And I can say another, let's try to, can anyone, any others, a, okay, any prompts, guys? A ship in a sea, okay. I mean, actually said a ship. Let's control and execute this. Let's see. man with gun yeah we'll do it okay first we'll do with one text now let's combine a, another text a man with gun let's try a book on the table yeah I, you you can try yes flying cars okay this is fantastic let's wait it's take some time yes sandeep we will do see i'll tell you so the moment when i ran this outputs so kids playing in a park yeah you can try this i'll share this code but the main thing i'm using my google collab and if you see the disk space also you can able to identify look at this my gpu 15 gb now how much gpu i'm used now 6.8 isn't it so if i run three two images okay you got this ship in the sea look at this what is you got the accuracy or not so how the generative ai is created like that and also you can create uh, something like that as someone say let's try to combine another uh, someone said like kids playing flying cars home on moon okay yogita has a lot of big dream Okay, so Yogita said home on moon, all right. And then, okay, I can say flying cars. Let's copy and I mention this. And I remove, it is playing a blue card in the sky. Let's copy and a blue card in the sky, okay. So guys, this is what I you try. I will share this and don't worry. I'll give you all the notebook. It will take you to five hours to complete each and everything and you mentioned on your resume projects as well so we're going to do these things and i'll i'll connect with you more in the class sessions as well so as the new batch is going on and we try to introduce all the practicals uh, so in detail we covered up over there so one moment so i try to combine three text prompt and after combine let's create a video from text by combine all the images so we're gonna do that now just wait so this is what it is done so if you see the open ai and i already show you so this is what if you check the tally too and don't you think i got similar images or not so they combine one two 
brief four text and then so definitely their their computation is very high so we right now even though we build the model on this one so that's why it is not getting here okay which one okay let's talk about this okay so first what exactly prompt we entered blue car in the sky okay we got blue car in the sky okay and next one home on moon okay let's wait uh, blue car in the sky okay still the iteration is going on iterations how many iterations we get 100 so you can reduce so wait still it is prompting wait it will take more time okay i already told you taming transformer is one of the architecture pre-trained architecture so in the trimming transformer many images from different different you know books architectures everything is loaded so that's why you call we clone the trimming transformer architectures so it's a pre-trained library okay prasad see okay yogita i hope you got your home here this one or this one you see this Okay, so this would be your home, right? So I can, what exactly, blue tree in the forest. This is blue tree. And then if you see, like, we have a tree prompt we entered, which is a blue car in the sky and a home on a moon and, and image is cute. Okay, so, so just wait. We can use 100 iterations. You can you can increase, but when you increase, but be careful that your CUDA versions, the memory is getting filled. Look at this now. So right now the uh, okay RAM is three point nine GB. Did you notice this? The RAM it was six now. It is reduced to three. So if I train, I will get the memory error. So I'll stop here now. Let's combine the three things together. So what I'm going to do. I want to take, let's copy and I'm trying to enter here, a blue car in the sky, home on moon, flying cars. Okay, it's done. So look at the videos, let's look at the text to images we created and each and every images, it is noise points and then clear the noise and what is the next one i said flying cards right so this is flying cards okay so these are the flying cards this is so that's what it's not give you the images but still clarity but this is what the thing day by day it's going to increase and now the next one i try to combine all those things exclude watermarks and then we try to interpolate it range because if you see this one, optimize we done and we create a um, training the loop and run the training loop to create a text prompt image for a single image and multiple images. We done this and then interpolating between points in the latent space. So what is meant by that? So interpolating between points, that's common technique to generative models using help of GANs and VI. Latent space means train a generative model to learn meaningful representations of the data, select points. We can cross two or more points, interpolations, decode, and visualize. So when we try to, just wait. So we try to include, do you remember I took three parameters, include, exclude, extra. In Taming Transformer, we defined as a parameters. So in the include means a user entered the text, exclude, what are the things exclude like watermark, from the images or maybe green color or extras okay now i combine look at more things we get it here now okay every time look the here if you see this code 
if you see above code okay we have exclude watermark only this one this time the images we get a it's okay it will take but what is my memory spaces okay we just wait for some time and then how to create a video so if i create all the images then finally it is going to create a video from text to video we're going to create this guys just one moment so let's do this in the meantime i'm going to show you what exactly the future uh latest generative technology like ai art ai art ai prompt ai prompt engineer amazon bedrock auto gpt google gemini google search generative experience google search labs image to image translations inception score lang chain q learning reinforcement learning from human feedback rlhf retrieval argumented generations various variational auto encoder so this is all the upcoming things which a to enhancing your skill set if you already learn data scientist what is the next step so the next step is going to these all concepts so this is what the quantum computing yeah quantum computing yep that also is a that is still in research but this is all in the market now at this moment language click q learning llm and all those things we have clear okay so this is all the thing but let's go back to the work here okay now let's try to combine all of things and we create a video just wait for some time just now we talked about this guys we interpolations between points in the latent space let me tell you i'm sure the one who joined for the first time so they might not understand what exactly session is all about but this session is all about the one who complete the data science and you have good knowledge about neural network architectures and parameters loss functions all those things we've done here so in generative ai if you see this coding we never pre-trained any models i mean any images here in cnn we train the images, we get the images. In machine learning, we train the numbers and we get the predictions. And in OpenAI, we didn't train anything. We use pre-trained libraries, pre-trained architectures. Those architectures trained with many images, multiple images. And we combine all the articles with the help of Python helper functions. And then we create interpolations ranges and we use like some of the uh, split functions and we use like some of the argumented parameters like crop and image and change dimensions change the dimensions of all the images and we club all together and then we create with the help of pytorch with the help of pytorch yes these images you can easily deploy also in your real time so the way a company called runway so he created a new latest videos motion brush and all those things the similarly we can integrate all the practical to uh, your deployed real time as well. So just wait. I know if I write this code in front of you, it'll take almost like one and two hours. So it's too heavy. So that's why these kind of things I'm going to cover in a class sessions in detail with more uh, use case. Yeah, you can, uh, if some reason we want to add our specific images to train a use case. You can also train, but uh, open. That's what OpenAI. That is become a CNN convolutions neural network. If I have few images, I want to train. Yes, you can train with CNN, but when you have more images, when you create it to uh, generative AI, the AI generates some images based on the text which we feed. Okay, I mean actually, so wait. It's take more time. And this is nothing but we 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 create some of the values idx plus one so enumerate functions we list uh for dura okay we done this for the generative images now create a video let's create a video uh for fps twenty five frames per second and I want to combine okay all the three things and just wait and finally we created a video and 
I want to play the video here. So maybe the voice not come. Let's go back and download it. And once I download, let's go up and let's play the video here. And the first one we entered is flying car in the sky. Okay. And then next we created a, yeah, it's, it should create three images. Okay. The next one, Yogita has a house on the moon. Okay. And then someone flying car, Sandeep said, wait, still, yeah, flying cars. Do you see we can combine all the images and we create such amazing videos like that? Tim, I hope understand or not. So I know, so this is what we have a practical on generative AI on, um, uh, with the text prompt to image, text prompt to video. And so here we already discuss about, uh, I'll share some of the slides and use cases we discussed and what is the future of the Gen AI we do discuss. So the first one, everything comes under data science, guys. So for the data science, it's a step-wise step process and we need to learn from the scratch to get these things. And it's all about a research. It's all about a uh, DALI to Gen AI. Okay, good. So Gen DALI to is C. For example, if I three is generative AI, then the branch is DALI to. Another branch is Chat GPT. Other branches, yeah, you can have some other tools as well. AI text classifier, like that. Yes, Syed. So the next one, let's close all of them. So team understand so far. And also, I know most of them, okay, who are eligible to learn this course already we covered and finally sum up of all those things. We have data science that's split into supervised, unsupervised reinforcement learning, supervised machine learning, unsupervised NLP deep learning and neural networks. And reinforcement learning is open AI, which is generative AI is nothing but it's combination of chart GPT, DALI text classifier, image GPT, and all those things. And I hope understand so far up to this. And I really thank you to, to attend this workshops. And I hope you gain such a, some skills from me today. And thank you so much for fantastic. How long it will take to excel this course to start the work? How long it will take to excel this work to start work? No, because, so can you please more specific, Fatima? And also, I will share this documentations to you guys. Uh, and I hope you know where to access this doc. Okay, great session. Thanks, Paul. And we try to create, uh, see, we can do also, I try to do a, sir, how much system we need to run all programs in this course. Uh, you no need to buy such a, excellent, thanks for the great sessions. Thanks, Umakan. So, what uh, Shikha, uh, who's, you see, you can't purchase because when you work in organizations, they have more hi-fi AI machines like server and they have like AI uh, system configurations. But when you do yourself, please work on GPU itself. Any references to dig more great sessions? We have YouTube videos for, we have YouTube videos for this. Uh, no, Krishna, because this is from this uh, year onwards, we started the generative AI in our course program. So you can refer your friends. And also, um, I shared some of my previous demo. So the new batch is going on. You can, thank you. I got the basic idea. What is what? Once I complete the DS of your class, I may understand it. Yes, God. So true. You has to be. Please, YouTube channel, your YouTube channel name, please. Fatima Naresh IT. I will share. You can, in Naresh IT, you can talk to the admin. So it's just a basic. And I try to introduce, see what happened. Every time things, it's not that all sessions you understand in the YouTube. So this would be the advanced sessions. And beginners, I do understand it's a little bit hard time to catch up all those things, the trained, pre-trained. I recommend everyone. Thank you, Sheikh. And so I have few workshops which I done about ChatGPT, introductions of AI workshops, mastering, and 
So there's a multiple things I know. Some of them not understand this one, but again, there has a. I hope you got idea what is generative AI. How what are the models? This is the basic. Just to dig it down, we have we need to attend the sessions. Like, see, everything's cannot understand by YouTube's, but so we have some connections to understand view concepts, conversions. Yes, please, Chaitanya. I'll recommend. Thanks, Sayed. I'm still yes yes chaitanya okay thank you sayed i recommend everyone when you to could you give some idea of real time use it okay real time use it so do you remember when you see some pictures like movies like you have like uh, these movies they use this ai over there okay so breath all right it was a great thank you the session was really amazing in terms of learning stepwise for GNI solutions. Thanks, bunch of your time. Thank you, Minakshi. We will have a discussions also. How to ensure security and accuracy in model. Okay. See, as I said right now, security. Let's say I have my company ABC. Sunil, good question. But in my ABC company, I'll buy my ABC database. When I install the paid versions of these libraries or paid versions, then my data is secure. Isn't it, Sunil? So when I don't, so when I don't, I'm using an open AI, so definitely it would be not as secure. Yes. So that's what it is. It's a research phase yet. So it's many people are yet to working on it. Yes. Are you going to share this recording on mail? No, you need to talk to the admin and uh, session was great. Thank you, Akila. Share all docs today. Sessions and session was good. Okay, Mansi. So I will share to my students on the classrooms. You will find out from there. On we discuss tomorrow about this. Okay, which model we need to use? Reply email automatically. Which model we need to use? Reply email automatically. So that is RNN. Why Jenna is so popular? Jenna is very popular because Chart GPT, Chart GPT, see, Chart GPT is popular because anybody used from layman, a, a person doesn't know anything, he can get to understand. Yes, Sunil. So now, document freelancing increased, jobs are okay. So you have tough code when you don't know, but using help of Chart GPT. So Chart GPT is a pre trained library, it is trained from many research books, millions of books, millions of websites. So it's trained. So if I draw a perfect cat example, if I want to draw a cat image, I need to train my brain with a lot of cats. What would companies expect roles and responsibility from the, those that already get trained? It's a research POC. That means, okay, very good, Murli Krishna. I wanted to give you a very good, let's say, chart GPT used by everyone okay but company ma many companies they might not used because the data privacy is leaks because of the data privacy so let's say what company wanted to make company wanted to develop their own chart gpt with their own resources with their own resources i mean to say for example there is a company called abc organizations called abc this abc organization has many vendors or client client one two three four five six seven hundred clients we have now hundred clients if they have questions to whom they reach they reach out to the managers now what these people they wanted to do they want to take all the ideas and each and every in depth of the business technical steps git version control they wanted to create a abc gpt when they create abc gpt any questions comes their brain immediately they ask to the chart gpt where they say more solutions driven Murli, I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. What exactly I'm saying, only professionals can understand. So now my question to you is, uh, 
yes uh murli krishna so when they used all those things then definitely it would be big 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 things to a business and it's a revolutions and because of that because of abc gpt they can showcase to the many client and they gain to get more projects and the business is increase isn't it so here um got it thanks can i get this document um yeah you can talk to the admin so can you tell job opportunities for learning j jenai you mentioned large language model and uh, you can build generative ai model like text prompt to image generations whatever i said okay and what's a beginner what you prefer me to learn how to enroll you talk to the see uh, i also i try i take a this year there's a no there is a lot of changes on learning on documentations on key concepts uh so ma uh, mas i can be in so what i'm trying to say you can reach out to the admin okay so i have a complete data science from now is there any generative full codes in arishati no we try to create very soon sanjit about it we try to create a very soon based on the more learner interest we try to plan for it okay love the sessions and more interesting when we do on our own exactly that's what i truly appreciate your valuable insights and perspective been incredible and i'm grateful for opportunity thank you again thanks avinash work for a company they have their own genai for the developers very good subhat now nowadays i talk to many professionals many uh, many employees are professionals under me they already launched their large language models in their organizations using open ai with the azure cloud so there's no choice this this year if you mention three projects in llm and deploy in cloud definitely you get a interview call you select there i promise you guys Yes, thanks, Sanjit. Thank you, sir. Today's class is amazing. Very good, isn't it? Yes, super. So, so I hope understand because this is ups. So I want to share this. Uh, okay. So I want to share uh, um, uh, the recordings as well, the new sessions, the timings, and all those things. Do you think AI is gonna have some boundaries to since NYT has recently filed also against? No, that's what uh, Prasad. What exactly? Good questions, but no lawsuit has not filed. Understand? So, what exactly I wanted to say? How many companies they used it? No company used. They develop it. Now this is a applications created by someone. Yes, if someone used these applications, let me tell you, Prasad, to answer your question. So, Chat GPT is created by Alt. Okay, he's a guy who created. Now you use the service. You you run a company ABC and you use that and you deploy. Definitely, they will file a case, isn't it? So, but now that's why what exactly companies are doing? They don't try to. uh bring someone so that's what no code deploy in google collab but they try to create their own platforms it's a paid platform so that's what it's not going to happen on every cases i hope you catch my point with help of open can we make real time game yes man this is what the more game changing exam data analytics any ibm watson in the training sessions like watson no see ibm is a product ibm is a my ibm is a company which created their own uh, ai so tools so the way in the sessions prashad i hope i am answer your question and if you if you follow this what i'm trying to say just clear all of them and the way i give you some documentations just now we created some tools right so which is mm, one moment this tool jasper now ibm created this tool to create this tool they hired you as a developer you got my point ah uh, yes durga so in the sessions no these things is uh, not include but 
how to create all those things it's in cloud okay so guys i hope um you you liked it and uh thank you unable to connect with admin could you yeah we'll talk all about tools are open source yes for learning we can use open source but for deployment open source are not applicable so that's what you need to go to the organizations you need to go to the paid versions so will you take more classes to generate in futures when you're free? Yeah, I try to bring up more good topics in upcoming days and I try to have basic blogs and I try to create a more interactive videos with a simple way, not this much of like two hour sessions, but I try to make basic, basic and easy, understandable things to uh, do. But the first thing you need to require a, you're good at OOPS concepts in Python and 